Okay, I've had a few requests from people with regards to explaining how, well, what is Mocha? What, why would you want to use it? So Mocha is basically a way to use coaxial cables as Ethernet cables. That's the best way to think about it. So why would you want to do that? Well, it comes down to houses and what they don't have. So unless you're talking about a rather modern house, most houses do not have Ethernet cable runs to every room of the house. So if you want eth if you want internet on a second floor and your modem is in the basement, you've got a problem. Most people use Wi-Fi for this purpose, and that's perfectly fine. For the majority of people, Wi-Fi serves, assuming you have a good access point, I strongly recommend mesh-based APs. You're probably okay, but things start getting a little dicey. Um, a problem with Wi-Fi, obviously, is latency. Uh, if you're a big gamer, that could be a problem. If you're into 4K streaming, that's another area where Wi-Fi just might not be enough. A lot of people live in more dense areas where Wi-Fi is extremely congested, especially the 2.4 gigahertz band. Basically, I, my recommendation these days when it comes to Wi-Fi is ignore the 2.4 gigahertz band. There's just too many people trying to use it. Dedicate devices to 2.4 gigahertz that only work on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Move everything else to 5 gigahertz. This will necessitate adding APs to your network. So for all of these cases, you know, Wi-Fi might not be the best solution. What else can you do? Well, what I did when I first moved into my house is I took out the drill, I started drilling holes, and I started laying cable to multiple uh, rooms in my home. Um, that did mean running cables outside and getting up on ladders and all this super fun stuff. There are alternatives, especially today. One of those alternatives is power line networking, where you buy these little adapters, you plug them into an outlet, and you have internet anywhere in the. They work okay. They've gotten tremendously better the last few years, but I still have trouble with them. Even the newest adapters, sometimes they drop. It, they're just not the most reliable things in the world. And performance is generally decent to dreadful. What's the other option? Well, most homes have phone lines going between going between rooms. Phone lines, there's no real solution there. They're just low speed. The vast majority of modern homes, at least in North America, is they are wired for cable television. So they have a coaxial cable going between rooms or going to each room. And what I have here is basically this idea where you have a house where you have a coaxial cable going from one room to another in a, I call this a string configuration or a serial configuration. And this is what is very typical of homes that are more than, say, 20 years old in the area I live, could be different where you are. So the general idea is by using Mocha adapters, you can repurpose these coaxial cables as Ethernet cables. Generally, what is recommended for both cable supplied internet and DSL supplied internet is the modem be placed as close as possible to where the internet, where the cable comes into the house. So how you would set this up is you would place your modem on the first floor or basement and connect that to a Mocha adapter. That's what these green guys are. So the way this works is you place your modem at the ingress point of the internet connection, be it cable, DSL, whatever. And right adjacent to that, assuming you have a cable connection to the interior coaxial cable in your home, you place a Mocha adapter. That converts the ethernet connection from your ISP modem to the coaxial cable in your home. And then for every room where you want in an internet connection, a hardwired internet connection, you place a Mocha adapter. Now, you might wonder, well, I'm now dedicating this coaxial cable to internet, which is great, but what if I have cable service? Won't this interrupt my cable service? Well, that's where things get interesting. So a coaxial cable, at least more modern coaxial cables, has a lot of bandwidth. Traditionally, for cable purposes, the upper limit of cable was around 900 megahertz, but... As the quality of coaxial cable improved over the years, and especially as satellite TV started getting into the world, that the, the available bandwidth of that cable kept going up. The upper frequencies are available. So this chart here lists 
what mocha uses. So there are different flavors of mocha, as I've mentioned before, and they operate on different bands. So mocha 1.0 and 1.1 uses band D, which uses a lower frequency of 1125 megahertz and upper frequency of 1525. And what's important about this is cable television usually peaks at around 800 or 900 megahertz. What we're doing is we're sharing the cable and you can actually use diplexers, if necessary, to share the cable between the two services. So even though we're talking about using the coaxial cable in your home for internet, you can still use it for cable television. So to go back to this image, you are not dedicating the coaxial cable to just internet. You're using it for both cable television and for internet, if you want. In more modern homes, say within the last 20 years, this string of coaxial cable doesn't exist. What actually is usually the case is from the basement, and I'll draw in a different color here, they will actually have a dedicated run to each room. So you'll have something like this. And that, for example, is what I have in my home. So the benefit of this solution is that you have a dedicated line to each room, so you can install these Mocha adapters. In real world, you won't see much of a benefit. Mocha is designed to be able to use a... Sh it is a shared medium. Um, coaxial cable is a shared medium in the, the architecture of Mocha. So there isn't too much benefit to it being done this way, but it's just something to be aware of. So if you go into your basement and you're looking for where the coaxial cable is, hopefully it is there somewhere, you might see a single cable, like this black cable that I have here, or you might see a bundle of cables going to a central location, uh, which is what these purple ones here. So to summarize, what Mocha does is it allows you to use a coaxial cable just as if it was an ethernet cable with minimal latency and a good amount of bandwidth. If there are any other questions, please let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Until next time.